Hi, it's Alaska Granny. If you love your Masterbuilt electric smoker as much as I do, perhaps you'd be as annoyed as I was when it wouldn't turn on or stay on properly. I had a huge batch of salmon all brined and laid out ready to go in the smoker and when I turned it on it wouldn't stay on. And when it would flip off, it would sometimes make some clicking noises. I couldn't get it to work properly. Every time I turned it on, it would turn off and I couldn't get it back on no matter what I tried. So I did a little research on the internet and I found a solution that worked for me. You need three things to fix the controller on your electric master build smoker. You need a Phillips head screwdriver, a can of WD-40, and a can of compressed air. If you look on the back of the controller, you can see it's attached to the smoker by two Phillips head screws. Remove those screws and carefully pull the controller up off of the smoker. Now there are two clips that connect the wires. Carefully unclip both of the clips. Now look on the control panel. There are four little tiny Phillips head screws. Carefully remove those four screws and pull the top off so that you can see the control panel that runs the buttons. Lay it on a paper towel and do a light spray of WD-40 over the control panel. Now take your compressed oxygen or air and blow off to dry the whole panel thoroughly. Now take your compressed air and blow off the clips and clip the two wires back together. Nestle the cords under the cover, set it back down, and reattach the two Phillips head screws to the back. Now plug it back in. it should be working again. I found that this worked for me. It turned on. I could set the controls. My smoker is still heating up. I can still use it. It's staying on long enough for me to use it. I can still use my smoker to smoke the things that I want. Everything from salmon to brisket, sausages and ribs. The Masterbuilt smoker is just an awesome appliance, but it's extremely annoying if it doesn't work when you count on it. Now remember, it's an electrical appliance, so you need to store it out of the weather. If it means putting it in your garage or your shed, using the cover. But don't let it ever get wet. Don't leave it out in the rain or the snow. You can bring it out to use it, but then put it back away so that you protect it just as you would any other valuable appliance that you count on having. Try these steps. See if you can get your Masterbuilt Smoker control panel to work again. And if this works for you, I hope you'll share my video with someone else you think would learn from it. You can learn more at alaskagranny.com and please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.